All right. Shalom Ras Tafarine Ras Yadinos Tafarine. I am Wendem Yadon reporting for the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty and broadcasting on Rastafari Sabbatical, right? Sabbatical on the YouTubes. And the channel, the fuller name of it is the Rastafari Sabbatical Study and Amhara Torah, right, of the Black Messiah, the Amhara Torah portions, you understand, know of the Black Messiah based on the Rastafari Amhara Bible or the Revised Amhara Bible of Nagusa Nagesk, Adamawi, Haila Salase, I and I, Godfather, and King of Kings. Now, we're in a very special um, season. There's a, there's a reason for the season because this is the seventh, right? This is the seventh of the Moedim of Yahweh Elohim. So um, let us bring this up right here, all right? So we're broadcasting. This is the first sabbatical studies, but we probably will make two postings, right? Make a posting on the Ethiopian World Net as. Uh, as a, a, a possible, right? We'll make a posting there on the Ethiopian World Net as um, as possible. So um, let's just bring this up right here um, with the the Alata, right? With the Be Alat, right? Of the holy um, season, right? So what's the reason for the season? This is Sukkot. Sukkot. Now Sukkot. Is known as tabernacle. So if you we did a um, if you go right here, you can see this right here, and you can't see it too well. So let's um, uh, let's zoom in right here. Okay, as you can see this Sukkot, right? As you can see, Sukkot is um, Sukkot begins right. It begins in the evening. This evening. This uh evening, right? This evening is the evening of um, the beginning of Sukkot, right? Of Sukkot. It's the beginning of uh, Sukkot. And it's one of the important feasts. It's actually a very important feast and a, and a festival for the Beta Israel, for we as the once lost but now found black sheep of the house of Israel. It's also known as in gathering. So it begins on it's 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 for it's for um um you call it seven days, right? Seven days. And now when we turn our Bibles to Leviticus, Leviticus chapter twenty three, all right, Leviticus chapter twenty three, Sukkot, Tabernacles, right, Tabernacles, also known as in gathering, right? Tabernacles also known as in gathering. So we're gonna bring up the holy feast and the festival, the PDF over there, and let's bring this right here, Sukkot. So now this explains a little bit more um, from a popular, popular view of Sukkot. S U K K O T, right? Sukkot, and you can see a little bit more of it right here. All right. Now um, we have this right here, a kind of an idealized. Um, idealized picture right here of the tabernacle, right? The tabernacle at sunset. Very beautiful picture. All right, very beautiful picture here. Um tabernacle of joy. Right? Tabernacle of joy is the airbrush. It's by Pat Mar Mar Marvenko Smith. Pat Marvenko Smith. And it is um the tabernacle at sunset, the tabernacle at sunset, all right, so we can get this a little more front and center right here, now you can see the tents, you can see all the tents around, all right, it's like a tent city, now see, this is really so very important, you understand, to us, especially when we're in the way, the truth, and the life, I mean, this particular Moedim, right, of Yahweh Elohim, it's the seventh, all these will be like the Sukkot, the Sukkahs, right? The Das Baal is called Bamarinya. According to the Met of Kedusa of Negus and Neges, it's called Yadas, Yadas Baal, right? Yadas Baal or Sukkot, right? And, and the good is it's called Metzalet, 
right? It's the Feast of Tabernacles. It's also known as Booth. And it occurs, right, in the seventh uh, uh, Hebrew month known as Tishrei, the 15th to the 21st. So this is the 15th, and it begins this evening, right, until um, October, right, until October 7th, right, or Tishrei from the 15th to the 21st or from roughly September 26th right to October 2nd some years on, on this particular chart that we have except for leap years you know saying leap years and so this is this is the reason right this is the reason for the season and this is a particular leap year now what is the historical data there's two types of data that we need to understand what is the historical data as well as what is the messianic data or the prophetical data of this, the messianic data or the prophetical fulfillment. So when we look at uh, the chart right here, like we said, if you um, turn your Bibles to Leviticus, Leviticus chapter um, 23. So let's turn our Bibles to chapter 23 of Leviticus. All right, this is Sukkot, Rastafari Sukkot. Now this is the preparation. Right, we're preparing here in the wilderness, right? It's preparing with the word, with the faith, the repentance, with being born again, and with um, studying and showing I and I selves approved. So when it is time for I and I to move forward, Exodus movement of Jah people, you understand? When it's time for Jah people to move forward, Jah people will, will be in the way, the truth, and the life. You understand? To move forward, to come out even physically. So we're coming out of Babylon first spiritually, right, and, and in soul, because Yeshua HaMoshiach, He is the Savior of our soul. So we're coming out first and foremost spiritually, right, on the soul level. He has saved our souls. He has anointed us, given us the unction, right, of the Kedusu, of the Holy One, of Yeshua HaMoshiach, the Moshiach Yeshua, of Christos Jesus, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this particular feast and festival is a memorial. Now we had touched on it in a previous vid that you might find posted. Let's see if we can go over here and if we can so-called backtrack over here. Let's see, or really forward track right here. Let us go to um, the Illnet. Right, the Illinet channel that's still up right now, and if you can, you need to back up these vids, right? Back up these vids right here. Um, actually, actually, it's not on this channel. I mean, there's enough that's on this channel right here. That's why you really need to back it up. Um, so far, I think we've done so well in backing up just about everything, um, ourselves and our offices and other units as well. And if you've been backing up any of the data on this particular channel, um, drop us an email at lojsociety.org, click on contact, and basically put in the title, you know, backing up Illnet or backing up the Illnet vids, right? So here we're at our new broadcast channel right here, and let us go to browse vids right here, right? Let's go to browse vids, and if you go right here, let's see if we... Um, if we have it here, it's this video right here, about one week ago. So we couldn't post it. It was actually this particular vid right here. You see that vid right here? Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit larger so you can see this a little bit larger. It's this particular vid, right? It's this particular vid right here, right? This particular vid. Rastafari spirituality. You have to check out this vid. It actually, it's actually... The one perfect hour, right? Rastafari spirituality, worship, and honoring the king. It's John Millennial Kingdom, according to Zechariah chapter 14, verse 16 to verse 21. You need to check out this vid for this Sukkot, right? For this Sukkot. So, not for this, just this Sukkot, but for every Sukkot. It basically lays down some of the foundational teaching on this particular feast this particular Moedim, this particular rehearsal of Yahweh Elohim, of, of, of the King of Kings and, and according to his Christ, of Abba Kedus and the Moshiach, Yeshua. 
So this is Rastafari Spirituality right here. It's called Rastafari Spirituality. And um, the, the rest of the title is Worship and Honoring the King. John Millennial Kingdom, Zechariah 14, verses 16 to 21. So what we might just seek to do is to download this particular vid, right, and to actually, let's see if we can do that, download this particular vid, and we, um, let's see, let's see, copy, copy, copy link, um, bookmark link, uh, let's see if we can go right here, um, where is it, copy the, copy image location, copy link location, there we go, and we'll see if we can um, back that up elsewhere. All right, let's see if we can back that up elsewhere, right? Copy the link, copy the location, and let's put this here. If we can back it up, we'll upload it because it's important for you to get this. In fact, one of the brethren, I think it was Wyndham Tobia, had actually um, um, went through a little something, something with some folks and everything because they saw a picture of, of one honoring the king. Right, and when they saw the picture of honoring the king, they got all twisted. You know, saying they got all twisted in their psyche. You know, saying because many people are untrained, unlearned. You understand, know and they got it twisted. You know, because they said, "Oh, that's worship, or oh, that's bowing." So we had to do a lesson or a teaching to really explain a little bit better exactly what it is from what it isn't is. Right, and in that process, Yahweh was gracious to us in um, revealing to us more on Sukkot, right, on Sukkot, the seventh of the high holy days or the Hebrew festivals. Mm -hmm. So you'll find this particular vid on the Rastafari Sabbatical, right, the channel, the YouTube channel Rastafari Sabbatical is posted there. But what we'll do is we'll seek to post it up there, perhaps after this particular vid, if we still get an opportunity to post it on Ethiopian World Net, because we know that we're in the ones um, 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 site, you understand, because they are offended, the truth is an, what? an offense, Ewnet means truth, so the truth is an offense, but it's not a khatiyat, it's not a sin, so we were touching on what is the historical data Right. First of all, what is the historical data for this particular um, for this particular Moedim? Okay, here we go. Right here. Let's see if we can um, if we can uh, download this. Well, we'll seek to download it elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? We'll seek to download this particular vid and upload this particular vid. All right. That's the vid right there the old channel player. So that's the vid right there, Rastafari Spirituality. So look it up, Rastafari Spirituality, the fuller title, Rastafari Spirituality, Worship and Honoring the King, John Millennial Kingdom, according to Zechariah, chapter 14, verses 16 to 21. Mm -hmm. And only got a couple of views, but we can call this um, um, Sukkot spirituality also So keep that name in mind So when we are able to download it and, and upload it If we're able to post it there So ones can at least get it Because what we're going through is a whole new A whole new season Right, a whole new season right now Right, um, we're coming to the end of the Torah portion We did the 52nd We got 53rd, 54th And then it's the Simchat Torah Right, the, which, which really Links with the Shemeni Atzeret Right, which is the eighth day, the eighth day, all right, the eighth day, the Sementanyawim Guvayi, or the Shemeni Atzeret, right, the eighth assembly or the conclusion of the Aude, uh, the Aude Senbet or Senabetat, all right, the cycle of the Torah portion, readings and feedings. So you got to check this video out, all right, check this video out, brothers and sisters. More on Sukkot, right? More on Sukkot there. Now, what happened here? All right, what happened here? How come this, this, this page this page went off? All right, this page went off. We was about to actually touch on this particular page, and the page went off right here. 
we were looking up um, tabernacle, and let's look up some of the images. As you probably already know, there's a lot of images of tabernacle. There's one in particular that we was highlighting, and that one in particular, while this does that, we'll bring this up right here. All right, let's see if we can bring this up right here. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's um, zoom in, right? Zoom in right here, right? You can zoom in, and you can see that, um, okay, here we go. Here's a nice, a large, well, that's a little bit too large right there, but the tabernacle at sunset, right? A perfect, perfect image, right? This is a perfect image right here for um, this particular high holy day, Sukkot, or in-gathering. You know what I'm saying? So the whole idea in Christian of in-gathering is actually based on this right here. Historically, it was the entering the promised land. Mm -hmm. Where Moses, in the Torah portion, he's about ready to die. Moses, right? Moses. But Moses is a mystical man. Moses is a, you know, very mystical man. We see him in the transfiguration speaking to Yeshua and Elias, right? Or Eliyahu, right? Eliyahu and, and Moses and Yeshua on the Mount of Transfiguration or Tabor, which is called Bamarinya, but that's based on Dabor, you understand, which was actually the mountain. But it also means tabernacle. There's a tabernacle significance as Deptera. You understand, Deptera, or the Deptera is, the, Deptera is also the book, right? The Deptera is also the composition notebook that we have advised the brothers and sisters to get a copy of and to take notes and to study notes. And at least we get three composition um, study notebooks we had mentioned, as well as the fact book is kind of interesting. You've seen I and I utilize the, um, you know, the little fat book, what's called the fat book, the spiral fat book, you know, as a handheld, something to take down notes, but then the composition notebook as a study book. But, that, but see, the, it's the notebook that's called the depta. So we want you to understand the depta. So there's a sublime, el rekik a mistir, right? Mistir in you understand the whole Bahitawi and Depta because they are the true church in the professing church. Make a note of that. The true church in the professing church. All right? Because Yahweh Shama, Yah will be waiting. But what is waiting for us, Bazia? You understand? In his order, it's this in gathering. In gathering is what is waiting for us. This is what the the, the true word. This is why ones could not really come out in the way that they should have come out. This is why Burhan Salasi Bob Marley, why he wept. You know, the same because he began to recognize that he even himself had half of the story, a, a very strong half of the story, but only half of the story. You know, the same because the father and the son. One can have the father, but the true access to the father's house is through the Moshiach Yeshua. Is through our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is through the Christos, right? Yes. So let's understand this. This was entering the promised land. It's great rejoicing. So rejoice, even in spite of these persecutions that we're going through on Onet, Ethiopian World Net, you know. And um, of course, people say, well, what can we do? You understand? Well, there's a, there's a whole lot that we can do. You understand? You can. Maybe even let the ones and ones know, gather enough ones together and say how much you really want this channel and to remove these frivolous things. But then that's a, that's a whole lot of stuff right there. And without busying yourself with that, if that is what the Holy Spirit calls you to do, then be convicted, you understand, of that. But here's what we want to move forward in. All right? We want to move forward in this. So Sukkot is the in-gathering. Now, something very interesting. Let's bring this up again. Let's see if we can go to this page right here, and let's see if we can um, remove.